Yay, every pony, it's finally happened. We have 52 subscribers, and unless the special happens. So the way I'm gonna do this with the 50 questions is, well, just like an audience, every pony, one at a time, may ask a question, and I am going to go ahead and answer them. But before I do that, I wanna thank all of you ponies for, you know, clicking the little button and asking for more content. <laughs> but without any further ado, let's go and answer those questions. Okay. Okay, first question. So we're gonna start off with the ones on YouTube. Um, New Leaf, what do you think of Blueberry on Discord? Bye, Gemlove. Um, well, I think Blueberry's a totally nice pony to hang with, and, um, it's always fun to be with him. Um, anyway, next question. Um, this one. How... From Philip Koblenz is that's a, is that I think that's a human, right? Um, how did you come up off? You mean up? How did you come up with the idea of a YouTube channel, and how do you get ideas on what games to play? Well, actually, the idea was inspired by another pony called Blank Slate. He's um, a red unicorn pony who reacts to things, and I saw him once and his little pictures to the bottom and how he reacts to things and I was like you know I I might be able to do that too and I also love playing games so I decided to you know put the ideas into one and at last this channel was born how do I get ideas on what games to play I sometimes look them up playing pony games sometimes other others suggest me games that I play and sometimes I also try to play games that I've never played before like or that are not pony like um if you remember the Rage game a while back that I played. Eh, don't remind me of that one. Um, anyway, uh, next question, everypony. Uh, from Golden Sky. Um, um, but that's Spitfire. I didn't know she had a sister. Um, New Leaf, tell us more about yourself. Where are you from? I'm originally from Canterlot, but I live near the Everfree Forest. What do you like, dislike doing? Um, well, I like going outside. I like practicing my magic. I love to study. I love hanging out with ponies and dancing. And I like cider. Um, I guess that's just a few things off of the top of my head. Um, what do I dislike? Um, I dislike too many rules. Like dislike bragging and too many loud noises and Robots. Most importantly, robots. Um, eating. Well, cookies, um, hay burgers, and especially apple fritters. I totally love those as well. What do I enjoy watching? Well, I enjoy um, particularly, or better said, listening to any musical things. But I also enjoy watching shows and acts of ponies. Those can be pretty entertaining as well. Uh, where do you live? I live near the Everfree Forest. Um... You know this king, this, you mean kind of stuff, right? Um, I think that's it. Okay. Um, I think that was all there is to this question. Yeah, okay. Uh, golden stick guy again. Fine. I'll do this. Um, I hope you don't mind the second question from the same pony. Fine. You can, I, I, I will let this one slide. Oh, and tell us, do you know any pony from the equestrian wasteland? Well, um. Well, they're in the story, but if you know the, the the first chapter that I started, maybe he um, I may run into one of those. But uh, spoilers aside, the second one is on its way. It's really difficult to record, but it is going to happen, Happy Pony. Um, and do you have acquaintance with main six ponies or any pony, anyone living in Ponyville, Canterlot, and or Manhattan? Well. I know many, many ponies. It's too many to list, but um, with the main six, I'm particularly close with uh, <laughs> the element of kindness. She's nice, and we get along very, very well. Um, I've I've really many ponies. I I like all of them. Every pony. It's you know just how I am. I love spending my time with them. Um. Oh, this isn't a question, but a wish. Also from Gold Sky. Jeez. Okay. Uh, do you like the game called po Welcome to Ponyville Act 1? 
I'd be I'd be happy if you played one day. Um, it's on this very channel. Um, you just have to um click somewhere. I could put put the link in the description. Um. Okay, from Charles Franks. Okay, what about um? One second. What about any current projects you're working on? Any new ones? Well, that's an interesting question. So, um, this could be taken either way. It could be taken onto the channel or what I'm going to do, like, outside of the PC and, you know, running about. But, um, uh, let's see. Where do we even start? Okay, so at least for this channel, there is going to be a uh, another game that I'm that I found that was suggested, um, and it's from the same ponies who did the, um, Rise of the Clockwork Stallions game. It's probably gonna be a little ragey too, but, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get through it somehow, every pony. And there is also going to be, um, another episode of the, the voiceover thingy, as I mentioned earlier, and also a non-pony game is on its way. But, of course, I'm also open to suggestions. Okay, what happens outside of this channel? Um, <clears throat> so, for a few humans who have tried to, you know, make their convention, I decided to, um, two months ago, no, more, more like three months ago, I decided to help them organize their logistics, and it worked really, really well, and they liked me, and, you know, because, well, alicorns are good at organizing things, so... I guess I kind of, you know, have a talent for that, if you can call it that. <laughs> okay, Lemon Bass, I I will be talking to that pony later. And yes, some of these ponies are going to be... I'm going to try to get them to, you know, answer these questions live with. Um, Charles Frank. Oh yeah, also for those of you wondering why I wrote them, it's usually because if we're on um, Facebook or Discord or Skype... And I just, you know, kind of pasted them there, or retyped them as much as I could. Anyway, onto Charles Char rolls Franks. Wait. Oh. I sub with my support. Oh, thanks. Thanks, mister. Um, human or pony or... Um. Okay. Is me a cutie pony? Um, 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 I... I suppose... Um, I'm sure you're amazing as you are and come, right? I hope so. Uh, next one. When can Durr hug new leaf? From just a Durr. Well, I don't mind hugs. I like them. I guess we c I can give you a hug if you want to. Okay. So, Pixel, I will talk to him later as well. Let's see. Do you be to use the royal blue collar as your coat collar? Um, I was born this way, but um, I guess it looks pretty nice. Um, it's a little annoying to sometimes brush and keep clean, but it works, I guess. How did you become an alcohol? <laughs> well, that's what's supposed to be the second question. You'll probably say, I was born this way, right? Oh, uh, well, um, the, uh, one day I did really well, and, um, helped Celestia do something, and it was actually an interesting story how I became an alicorn that day, because I um, remembered that the, there was an earthquake in a certain city, and I knew it was happening. It was um, a suburb of Canterlot, and I managed to get every pony out and calm nature afterwards, because there were dreamers, there were earthquakes, and storms, and everything going on, and I was able to calm it down, because, um, well, ponies back then didn't know that much about nature and how they could live in harmony with it and well now they do and then Princess Celestia took me the to the celestial plane and then I got my wings and that's how I became an alicorn yeah. Yeah, a very interesting I, story yeah, I, yeah. but I want to hear another story about your hat what's with your hat where you found it was it a gift from someone dear to you it was well both it was a gift that I got for uh for from someone because I managed to find a certain treasure from them that because they um, had lost it in some 
place in the Everfree Forest, but they were too afraid to go there because the Everfree Forest is a really dangerous place and I usually know my way there, so I brought it back out and then they told me you, I should have an adventurer's hat and then they gave it to me and I think it fits me pretty well, I think. I see. And what about your cutie mark, you know? Oh, what uh, it stands for? Well, my cutie mark stands for harmony and bringing uh, things together. You see there is, well, black, big black parts and white parts, and yet they are all in harmony just like nature is. And, well, you need all different parts working together, even if they're sometimes different, to create something amazing. And what about its shape? It's kind of an interesting shape, don't you think? Yes, those are two um, inverted triangles, if you know what that means, and well, it's like uh, the three forces, three magical forces, and um, it's like the white ones putting you said equalism to the black one, and you know how they seem to be, um, you know, in different sizes and all, and yet they're holding each other in balance. Okay, so uh, three forces. Uh, yes. Define them. Well, it's a uh, um, nature magic. It's like um, you have the ground below you, the ground in front of you, and whatever is above you. Uh huh. So it's uh, about level. Yes. Okay. And last, totally random question about if you would choose a profession. Would you like to be the, the one which will lead, or the one which will be led? Uh, well, Lemon, I am an alicorn, and I love to lead ponies. I usually am great at guiding ponies and telling them what to do. But will you accept someone else's authority? I guess so. I usually don't mind, you know, being told things. It's It's nice to learn and everything, but if I you know, have to choose, I will usually go ahead and, you know, be, be the pony to sh show the way, because I know the way, I think. You know the way, okay? I know the way of the pony people. Oh, I really? Think, yeah, some... I, I never actually heard of the pony people. I, I heard about the Uganda people. I know the Uganda people, more likely the Uganda Knuckles, the Queen and stuff. Well, that but do you know the way? But I'll got to spit on you. But that, that doesn't matter. What I like the fact that in cases where there's no one to lead, you'll take action. But if you see someone with higher authority than you, then you would not think twice to actually give them the possibility to do things better, right? Of course not. I think it would be best for, like, the entity of uh, Equestria and every pony, right? Yes. Yeah. I think so, too. Okay. So, you're right, then. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's all with my questions. Okay, thank you, Lemon. Okay, every pony. Let's continue with those questions. There's uh, a few more. So every pony up to this point is going to be read out. Pixel, unfortunately, I did not catch his voice, but um, let's answer his question. Hey, New Leaf, why do you sometimes talk so girly? Um, I don't talk girly, brother. I am a cult, and I have a cult voice. I think. Oh, really? Uh, fine. Okay. Anyway, next question. So, anything else is now written down, which I found on Discord or um, Skype. So, this one is from Stroisel. It asks, or she, uh, he or she asks, will you do more non-pony? Actually, there's something going on, uh, going up today or tomorrow, which is non-pony. Um, but I will try to do a few more non-pony games as well. You know, find some fun ones, of course. Okay, next question from Mr. T. Okay, Mr. T, do you make tea? Um, oh, this is, oh, this is the, um, he's a, uh, followed Equestria enthusiast like me, every pony, by the way. Can we get to see you? Well, sure, you have to come to Equestria, and then, um, of course, you can hang out and stuff, you know. Um, next question from Cloudbump. Oh, probably a Pegasus. May I get a hoof bump? Uh, yes you may. On the count of three. One, two, three. Um, next question from, uh, Princess Celestia? I didn't know Princess Celestia watched my channel, Every Pony. Okay. Uh, she asks, can I magic duel you? Uh, uh, if you insist, Princess, um, 
Okay. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Um, anyway, next question by Heinz. Uh, um, would you do react? Uh, well, sure, if you want me to react something, just, you know, put it there, link something, and I'll, I'll try to. Sounds like something fun. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, up to this point I have exactly um, 20 questions. So the next 30 questions, I guess some ponies, you know, didn't find anything to ask really. I will look for a um, sheet on the internet and answer 30 questions from there, and then we can, you know, call it a wrap, every pony. Okay, I found this one. So we're just going to do a few of these really quickly. If you didn't have to sleep, what would you do with the extra time? Um, probably be outside or something. I like to explore nature. Uh, what is your, what's your favorite piece of clothing you own? Well, my hat, of course. What hobby would you get into if time and money weren't an issue? Well, time isn't an issue and money isn't an issue either, but I guess I, I love hobbies. I, I like, you know, doing things. I don't really have preferences, every pony. But I guess music is something fun, every pony. I like playing keyboard. Hehe. <laughs> I could do that at some point on the challenge, but um uh, on the channel, but um I'm a little shy, every pony. What would your perfect room look like? Um outside, nature is my room. Okay, um how often do you play sports? Um, does magic count? Well, if magic counts then I'll do it daily, but if not then I guess I don't. Let's go down here. Uh, what fictional place would you most like to go to? F what is fictional? Um, I don't know. Maybe, um, I, I really don't know what this means, every pony. Sorry, next question. What job would you be terrible at? Um, probably something to do with manual labor or something, every pony. When was the last time you climbed a tree? A few days ago. If you could turn any activity into an... Olympic sport? What would you have a good chance at winning a medal for? Um, what does Olympic sport mean? Uh, I don't know what Olympic means, but if magic duels can be become a sport, then I would probably beat everyone's flank there. Um, what is the most annoying habit that other people have? What's a people? I don't know what people are, every pony. Sorry. Okay, what skill would you like to master? Something new, of course, like drawing or so, maybe. What would be the most amazing adventure to go on? Um, probably something in the Everfree Forest. If you had unlimited funds to build a house that you would love, li that you would live in for the rest of your life, what would the finished house be like? Um, what I live in right now is perfect, actually. What's your favorite drink? Why apple cider, of course. But the one from Sweet Apple Acres is unmatched, every pony. What state or country do you never want to go back to? What's a state or country? I don't know what this means, every pony. Sorry, it's probably some human questions. Um, what song have I completely memorized? I know many songs, every pony. It's quite a few, but I'm not singing. At least, not, you know, um, not at least until I lose another dare. I shouldn't have said that. Uh, what game or movie universe would you most like to live in? Um... Um, I don't know. I usually don't like living in games. They're fun for entertainment, every pony. What do you consider to be your best find? Um, that would be, um, you know, my hat, probably. Or my my cutie mark, or something. I don't know. I like everything that I find. Are you usually early or late? I guess I'm usually late, and if I do run late, I teleport really quickly. What pets did you have while you were growing up? I have... Quite a few animal friends, every pony. Um, I have, um, let's see, I have, uh, Tree Trunk, the Gecko, I have Adam the Phoenix, and a uh, Bale Fire Phoenix, I mean, there's a few. What, people come to you from help, what do, you, do they usually want help with? Usually something nature related. What takes up too much of your time? Uh, sorry, um. What takes up too much of your time? I don't know. Usually my time is pretty balanced, actually, every pony. Okay, let's see. We have about ten more questions. Or wait, yep, ten more questions. What are some small things that make your day better? 
Um, usually some cake, maybe. I love cake or cookies, something, you know, to make brighten your mind. Who's your go-to band or artist when you can't decide on something to listen on? That would be the Pony Tones. Their singers are amazing. What shows are you into? Uh, there is a show about humans. It's called My Little Humans, and it's it's pretty fun when they're, you know, running around and doing um, human things um, and exploring the world and taking things. But it's 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 pretty interesting. What TV channel doesn't exist but really should? Um, one about cookies. Who has impressed you the most with what they've accomplished? If, well, every pony actually. That's every pony. I love what every po pony accomplishes. What age do you wish you could permanently be? I I'm being my age permanently right now, every pony. Uh, what shows do you refuse to watch? Um, well, anything too scary. Okay. Um. Let's see. What would be your ideal way to spend the weekend? Well, you know, meeting ponies, of course, and being in nature. That would probably be my way. Okay, final two questions. Actually, some ponies said something. So Cryptic Dash from an episode in Fallout Equestrian Remains asks, yeah. What is your favorite skirt color that you wear? Cryptic Dash. I would like to point out that a cult does not wear skirts and I'm no pony girl. Please. Ponies. I'm no mare. Um, huh. Next question. Oh. Daddy, uh, what is your favorite uh, school subject? Oh, Metal Lush. Well, my favorite school subject was Transfiguration. <laughs> okay, so I think that was 50 questions, every pony. So let's move on to the next part of today's little special. Okay, so finally, what are going to be a few things that happen in the future? So if we keep going, you know, I might be able to buy the bandy cam thingy so the um, little white um, letters go away. I can use the magic trick to make them go away, actually, every pony. <laughs> <laughs> and um, outside of that, there's going to be Fallout Equestria Remains Hardcore every second day. That is going to go on for a very long time. And uh, spoilers, I am doing very well. Um, then I'm going to play another game. The, the game that I mentioned earlier, The Magical Shards, is going to be played every second day as well. So when there's Fallout Equestria, there's no Magic Shards. And when there's Magic Shards, there's no Fallout Equestria. And, of course, I will occasionally toss in that um, a human game or so if I find one when Magic Shards end or Followed Equestria Remains ends, which could be soon. I will be playing a non-pony game. and But outside of that, there's much planned. And, of course, if some pony, like mentioned earlier, wants me to react to something, I'll try my hoof at that and see how it works. And, of course, the... Um, Audiobook, that is still going to be something I'm working on. It's really difficult to edit, but I will be able to release the next one shortly, every pony. Okay, so I think outside of that, I've managed to cover everything. And, well, with that, I want to thank all 50, 52 of you, actually, by now, for sticking around and watching my content and hoping you have a good time watching it. And I thank all of you so much for your time. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh.